Well, hey there, YouTube fellow silver stackers, silver pourers, silver enthusiasts. AG Ender back with you again in the shed. And had a couple people message me and wanted a couple things different poured. So I ended up getting the next size up hexagon. Somebody wanted a little bit bigger one than I can make uh, with what I have. So I'll take care of that. But I'm going to have to melt down some of my pours from last weekend and make them a little more manageable and get the size right for them they wanted 4.2 ounces so roughly 131 grams i figure i'll melt a couple of those smaller ones down pour them into here and one way or another i'll work out to 131 grams and get a bigger hexagon poured so i'll get those poured i'll get myself the water can filled back up and i will be back with you shortly all right, so we're ready to pour some of these little ones real quick. A little tougher to pour these small ones. Especially with this bigger dish that I've got right now. So we'll dump these out. Not really anything to take a look at with them, but I'll show them to you here in a moment. And we'll go in and see what they weigh and see if I can work it out to 131 grams. So there are the three small pieces for now. This was 46 grams. Another little piece in here. I'll get that in a minute. We will see what these weigh, and I will be back with you shortly when I've got 131 grams. Well, I couldn't quite make 131 grams out of those, so I'm going to melt down the other small bar here and go from there, try and get 131 grams added to this 73 gram bar, and then melt all that down together for the 131 gram or 4.2 ounce hexagon. So, I will be back with you when I am ready to start melting for the hexagon. Well, here's the 131 grams worth. So, we'll get that melted down, get the hexagon mold warmed up. And I will be back with you when it's just about time to pour. So, it looks like we're ready to pour. This will be the largest hexagon I've poured so far. So, we'll see what it looks like here in just a moment. Like it turned out all right. Get in the water here. And take a look at it. Well, let me hit the light. Oh, there it is. We'll go weigh this up, see what it comes out to. Looks like this is about what that mold will do, the max. So, I will be back in a moment and with a weight. And then we'll start getting this polished up and see how it looks. So, we did get it right at 131 grams. So, 4.2 ounces if you round up. So we'll get this polished up and stamped, and I will be back with you then. So, <clears throat> here we go. All polished up. You can get some focus out on this one here. Maybe too much light.
There, that's better. Nice tight lines all the way through. 4.2 ounces. And you can see there right in the middle, I got myself a 999 fine silver stamp. So, there it is, large hexagon number one, 4.2 ounces. And that's that one. I do have one more new mold, so you will see that here momentarily for you. For me, it's going to be a little bit, but we'll get things set up and ready to go and be back with you shortly. So here we are, just about ready to get the next pour started. Start melting down some of the silver here. Not quite sure how big this is. The description did say six ounces, so I don't know. It doesn't quite look like it's going to come out to that, but we shall see. It will probably be pretty close to that because this one's just under five that I just set in there. So I will be back with you after I get the mold heated and the silver heated and just about ready to go. So here we go, just about ready to pour. I don't know if you could tell before, but this is an organ shaped mold. So we'll see how that turns out. Roll it around here a little bit, make sure it's all liquid and ready to go. Turned out pretty good. Let me get this out of the way. Grab the pliers here. Dump it out and take a look. And there it is in the mold there. Should look pretty good polished up. little bit of a bubble on the back but here we go looks like the focus is pretty good on this one there's the back there's a little bubble there but nothing that's going to take up any space to stamp since there's quite a bit of room on the back of this one there it is so we will get this weighed up and polished up and stamped and i will be back with you in a moment Well, I'm going to go ahead and melt these two down. My, oh, Hexagon 15 and California 5. I just want to do some more today. Took a little bit of a break, but I'm back now. And I'm going to do another Hexagon. This one probably be just a shade bigger than the first one. Not by much, a couple of grams. But I'll do this and I'll do one more of the organs. And then that will do it for the day. But I will be back when we are ready to pour. Oh, here we go. I got zoomed in a little bit. Maybe you see a little bit better this time. Yeah, we are ready. Try and blow this little bit of graphite glass off the top and then I'll pour. I'm going to re-pour this one, so I will be back with that next pour. Well, here we go. Ready to go this time. That one's a little bit. 
it better I didn't splash up like I did on the first one. Would have had a bad looking corner on the first board. So let's get this out of here and in the water. Take a closer look. And back off the zoom. Oop. So, the back side of this one. Here we got the front side. Looking pretty good on this one. Again, kind of like somebody mentioned in one video, one of their comments was kind of like uh, rings on a tree when you cut it, cut the tree down. Got them nice and tight. So we'll polish this up, get rid of those little spots and be back with you for the next pour here. I'll do one more pour, melt down the rest of my bars from the last time, and that will do it. I do have some more silver coming, hopefully this week. So I'll get back to pouring midweek or next weekend. But for now, I will see you shortly. All right, looks like we're ready to pour here. Well, a bit of over pour. I'm going to do this one again. I don't know if I'm trying to be too perfect or what, but I don't really like that one. So, back in the dish, and I will be back with you in a moment. Here we go, next pour. didn't come out right. It was cooling way too soon. We'll do this one more time. All right, here we go one more time. That one's better. Let me turn the volume down here a little bit. Got hockey going on again in the background. I think that one will do. We'll drop it in the water and then get it on film. Move this around. Pull the zoom back. Dry it off a little bit, and there we go. Organ number two. So I will be back shortly for you and have a kind of a wrap up on what I did today and the weights, everything stamped and ready to go. So I will see you soon. Well, here's what I ended up with for the day. I got two organs and one of the large hexagons. Too much glare right now, but... There we go. 174 grams, number two. Got number one here at 170. And then large hexagon number two at... 136. So, there's what I've got. It's on hold for now. I might have somebody interested in these, so if not, I will make note of it in the comments. But for now, that's all I got. 
like I said, I do have some more silver coming, and that will do it for tonight. So thank you all for checking out what I've done. For the likes, shares, subscriptions, comments, any of you who've decided to add what I've made to your collections over the last month or two, it's all appreciated. I thank you very much. Have a good night. A.G. Anders signing off.